Have your parents ever told you that they regret having given birth to you? Have your parents ever told you that they wish you should have died when you were a child? Have you ever felt that you were a mistake? Then you gotta watch this. There are several points that we need to take into account here. Many other people believe that you may be born by chance. Others think that you may, may be the result of a rape. Maybe your mother always hated the fact that you came on earth simply because you reminded her the image of the man who raped her. Yeah. We are about discovering whether you are a mistake or not. First and foremost, let me get to reference to the Bible. God has a plan for you. The crowning work of creation came on the sixth day when God created human beings. As he looked around him, he pronounced his creation to be good. And that includes you. You. God has been designed you to be a successful story. Before you were born, he knew you. He knew you. Before you come on earth, you have been a part of his existence. Yeah. There is no part of you which has been created without God's knowledge. As the Bible says in Psalm 139, it tells us that he has planned each one of your days before you came on earth. Which tells us that you were not formed by mistake. Now let us get straight, straight forward to the point of Mr. Father. You are not a mistake. Yeah. You may be the result of a rape, as I mentioned it earlier on. You may be a misconception of time where your father gathered himself together. Maybe your mother was 16 years, 15 years when she gave birth to you. But you have to understand that you are not a mistake. Maybe your father was not ready to welcome you on this earth. But what I know is that God knew that you were coming. God prepared a special room for you. He made sufficient place for you to come and enjoy. So you are not a mistake, buddy. Because when I try to see the perception of many people here, they don't believe on welcoming people. They don't arrange everything for them. We always come by chance. There are certain people who always don't believe in themselves, simply because their mother or their father have been telling them all the time that they were good for nothing. You are not good for nothing. This kind of says always brings people down. Yeah. At a certain point in time, if you keep on believing that you are truly good for nothing, you may never and ever achieve anything good in your life. You will never achieve anything if you have a complex of inferiority and you always believe that you are a mistake. God has a time in which you always work with people. But if your time hasn't yet come, there is no need to rush or be complex simply because your friend has a certain rank in life that you can't reach right now. Yeah. So you have to wait for God's time because God's time is the best. Always the best. You are not timeless. You can be moneyless, loveless, but time will always be there for you. That's why you are not a mistake. You cannot be able to achieve anything right now simply because the environment doesn't allow you to go through it. So you have to pay attention to the environment you place yourself. You are a product of your environment. You are a copy of your friends. No one can make you feel inferior unless you decide to become one of it. Now, decide to go out and be the remarkable person you would like to be. And Lena Roosevelt once said, no one makes you feel inferior without your consent. That's come to say that you should be the only one putting yourself personally out, knowing that God is on the roof of everything. So if you don't put yourself up, nobody will put you up. People will trust you when you start trusting yourself. They will always put you down. People will pull you down for sure. This is the image that you want them to see. That's the meaning of people. They will always pull you down. Tell them that they are wrong to believe that. You have to show them that they are wrong. Be always happy. Smile. Whatever the circumstances that you are going through. Yeah. If you keep on smiling, knowing that things aren't going quite smoothly, 
God will see that you are great. Let me tell you this, you are not a mistake. Hello guys, I hope you like our video. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching this video. What you can now do is to forward this video to your relatives. It can really help them. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and turn on the notification so that you will never miss one of my videos. You can also follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter and LinkedIn. I share inspiring quotes from time to time. Those quotes can really change the direction of your day. So make sure you follow me on Facebook and other social media. Just type my name, Valwa Kim. If you have any comment, any suggestion, anything that you think could be beneficial to us, just comment below. Let's have an interaction, right? So comment below. And if there is anything that you want to learn about, just tell us on the comment. Give us the topics that you are interested in and we will make a video to answer you. So thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in my next video.